Hello, and welcome to another tutorial from Avid Studio Pro. Today we're going to do a tutorial on keyframes, or how to use keyframes in Avid Studio. So before we get started, a few things I want to point out about keyframes. Keyframes do a lot of things to move the camera angles around so that you can get different perspectives to your audience within your videos. You can also use it to follow objects around the screen. Now, a big thing that most people who don't use keyframes don't know is that when you make keyframes, you have to kind of chain them together. What I mean by that is you have to create two keyframes in a row at the same camera angle so that your camera angle stays the same during the shot and it doesn't move around. And then you can move on to the next camera angle that you want. So, might as well show you how to do it so you know what I'm talking about. So we have our clip down here. We're going to double click on this clip. It's going to bring up the effects window or the corrections window. We want to be on effects. We want to go to camera and then we want to go to pan and zoom. So when we click on pan and zoom, we want to open up the settings. And the first thing we want to do is make sure that both of the start and the, the first and the last keyframe are at zero. I'm going to step forward to the last keyframe and change it. Click on it and type zero, hit enter. I'll change it to zero. Then we'll click on this and we'll change it to the last keyframe. And we want to go ahead and make sure it's on zero, which it is now. So now we want to go ahead and start putting our keyframes together. So we're going to move this forward to a position where we want to Get our first keyframe in. And I guess, let's see here. This looks good about here. So, what we want to do is we want to right click on the first keyframe and click copy keyframe. We want to go to the position where we want to put that keyframe, and we're going to paste the keyframe there. What that does is it keeps the camera at the same position the whole time. So now we're going to go to the next position where we want to change the keyframe. And we're going to click add a keyframe. Now this keyframe we want to change. So we want to move our zoom up. And I want to get a shot of the subject's legs here. So. I want to make sure that it's in the middle of the screen. And we're going to change our vertical position so that it shows the subject legs. Now that we have that keyframe set, we're going to copy this keyframe. Right click on it, copy it. And then we're going to go forward to another position where we want. And we're going to paste the keyframe. So right now, if you preview this, you'll see that between this keyframe and this one, it's going to go down to the legs and it's going to stay there the whole time because I created another keyframe to stay in that position. Now it starts to slowly pan back out because it's going back to this keyframe. It's going to slowly go to that one. We don't want that. That's why we want to chain the keyframes together. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add another keyframe. And I'm going to go back out to full screen here. And it'll quickly go from the legs to a full screen now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and copy this keyframe again. And I'm going to paste it here so that it stays at that position. Then I want to go back down to the legs. So I'm going to copy this keyframe of the legs. And I'm going to paste it here so that it goes back down to the legs again. And I'm going to paste another one here so it stays on the legs. 
So let's go ahead and show you how that looks again. So it's full screen. It's going to go down to the legs again. And what I'll do here is I'm going to add a new keyframe here because I want to do a different perspective. So now on this keyframe, I'm going to change it up. Actually going to zoom in and I'm going to go up top. And now I want to end at this position. So the last keyframe is actually a full screen. So what you'll see is it'll start going back to full screen. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the last keyframe. I'm going to copy this one where I want it to end. And then I'm going to place it here at the end. So that at this position, you'll see it moves up stays on top and ends on top and there you have it how to use keyframes in Avid Studio from the Avid Studio Pro thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon